guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we're gonna be making another really fun creature. Today I'm gonna be making a creature from Ark Survival Evolved. Um, it's a video game that I really like playing. It recently came out with a new DLC, which adds a map and a bunch of new creatures, so I figured I'd make one of the creatures from the game. I decided to pick the Bulldog. I thought it was really cute and it'd be fun to make. Anyways, let's get started. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to work on for our bulb dog is going to be the sewing for the body. So right here I have all of the pieces for our pattern cut out. To the right I have the main body, to the left I have the piece for the belly, and then in the middle is the piece for the bottom of the foot. And then to do the inside parts of the legs, you're just going to cut these right off. Okay, all my fabric is cut out. You can see that I have four pieces for the bottom of the feet. I've got the belly piece in the middle and then the pieces for the inside parts of the legs right here. And then over here I have the main two body pieces. So to start sewing, we're going to work on the feet first. To do that, I'm going to take the bottom pieces of the feet and we're going to sew the first two toes that are on the main body onto the part that's on the bottom of the foot. After that, we're going to take the inner part of the foot and we're going to do the same thing with the two toes that are on that part of the foot. And then after all the toes are sewn, you can sew the two halves of the main leg together. Once I have all my legs sewn, I'm going to take our belly piece and I'm going to hand sew it to the rest of the body. And that's basically the sewing for the body for this piece. I left it really simple and now we're going to move on to the little fins that he has. He has one main fin down his back and then two little fins that kind of look like ears. So what I did for the fins was I drew out a very simple pattern. I cut that out of felt and now I'm going to paint it to add some extra colors to the felt. So I'm going to add some yellows and some browns to give it a little bit more highlights and low light. Once that's dried, I'm going to use my sewing machine and I'm going to sew some lines into the fins so it looks a little bit more detailed. To make our clay face, we're going to take a foam ball and we're going to cover that in tin foil. We're going to build our face on top of this and then when we're done, we're going to pop the foam ball out of it and then bake it in the oven. You can't put foam in the oven, it'll create toxic fumes. Once you got a good layer of clay on top of your foam ball, you're going to start working on adding other details. So I'm going to start with adding the mouth. So I'm going to take a strip of clay and lay it out where I want the top lip to go and I'm going to blend that in. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom lip. Once we're happy with the shape of the mouth, we're going to add the tongue to it. So I'm just going to take a piece of clay and we're going to put that where we want our tongue and then just shape it until we're happy with it. Now for our bulldog's eyes, they're really big and buggy, so we're going to add some big balls to the top of his face where we want his eyes to go. We're going to blend those in, and then we're going to add some eyelids to them. Now he's not going to be a bulb dog without his little bulb, so I'm going to take a piece of wire and I'm going to put that on the front of his face where I want that to go. I'm not going to add the details to this yet because I'm going to finish the face and bake it and then we're going to work on the bulb. I'm doing this that way I don't bump the bulb while I'm working on the rest of the face because it's just kind of in the way right now. Now the last detail we're going to add to our bulldog's mouth is going to be some teeth. Now I made these ahead of time, they're basically just a piece of wire and I put some clay on top of it and I shaped it until it was a nice pointy tooth. I baked these and now we're going to just put them in the mouth where we want them. 
After that, I popped our face off of the foam ball and I put it in the oven for about 45 minutes. Once it was cool and out of the oven, we're going to start working on the bulb for the dog. So once our face was cooled from baking, we're going to put the foam ball back inside of the head so it's easier to handle, and then we're going to work on the bulb. To work on the bulb, I took a strip of clay and I just put it over the wire and I blended it to make sure the wire was completely covered. For the end of it, I took a ball of clay and I did the same thing. I just added a few more extra details to it and then we're going to put this in the oven for another 35 minutes at 275 Fahrenheit. After our clay face was all finished, we're going to start working on painting it. So because the bulldog I want to do is green, I'm going to put a primer layer of green over the whole face. After our green paint is dried, I'm going to paint the inside of the mouth a nice red color and then I'm going to add some shadowing to it. I'm going to add a little bit of highlight to his tongue because it sticks out, it should be a little bit brighter, and then I'm going to add some yellow highlights to the rest of his face. I'm putting a little bit of black paint inside of his nostrils so it helps define them a bit more. And then I'm going over the surface of his eyeballs with a nice brown color. For his teeth, I'm just going to paint them with a nice off-white paint and then add a little bit of highlight to them later. Now I'm going to work on the details for his eyes. They're all brown right now, so I'm going to add a lighter brown to the top of them and start blending it in. I'm going to do this a few times and once I'm happy with it, I can paint on the black pupil and add some white highlights. And then the last little bit of painting I'm going to do is I'm going to go over his bulb with a nice glow-in-the-dark paint. I'm going to use a few layers of this because it always seems to not really work really well unless you put a lot of layers to it. Once my paint is dried, I'm going to go over the whole face with a layer of resin and then I'm going to let it sit overnight to dry. Once our face is done drying and it's the next day, we can start adding it to the body and putting him all together. So I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to glue the neck of the piece all the way around his head. After that, I'm going to take my needle and thread and sew up his tail and stuff his body. Now, I didn't close him up all the way yet because I need to add the fin to it, so I'm going to sew him up while adding the fin. Next, we need to add the two little fins for his ears. I'm just going to cut two little holes and we're going to sew those into place. Now, one last detail I wanted to add to his body so it wasn't so plain is I'm going to add some spots going down his back. Bulb dogs have a fluorescent spot pattern going down their back, so I'm going to use some normal paint to paint those in, and then I'm going to go over it with some glow-in-the-dark paint.
Okay guys, and that's how I made a bulb dog from Ark Survival Evolved. I had so much fun with it. I really hope you enjoyed today's project. If so, leave me a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Leave comments down below if you have ideas for future projects you want to see. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!